As of 2015, eBay.com is home to 159 million active users. It is an online marketplace with over 800 million listed items. Firstly known as AuctionWeb.com, eBay has been around for 20 years and has undergone many changes, especially on the surface. Over the years, eBay's graphical interface has experienced many changes. But could the reason behind these changes be to optimize user usability? And if so, how did it do so? Starting with the first screenshot of eBay.com on June 14th, 1997. It displays a dull grey homepage with not much to offer in terms of visual appeal. This was before the auction site was made public in 1998. In the meantime, the company hired an ad agency to vamp up their website look. By April 20th, 1999, eBay already had a fresh new look. The homepage had more colors and images. Not a surplus, but more than the previous screenshot. Over a standard white background. The header was also shortened from two sentences to four words. The website also introduced a tips button and different categories, giving users the ability to specify and filter their search. Tabs and links were also added to ensure easier navigation throughout the website. Two regions, Canada and the United Kingdom, were also made available to users, giving them more options on an international scale. Also, there was a chat room present, which was at the same time instant messaging became a popular communication medium. This acted as a quick and simple way for buyers and sellers to communicate to one another online. On March 3rd, 2000, more clip art icons and different fonts are seen on eBay's homepage, as well as changing the words from search to find it, making it sound more colloquial. More countries and a bid locally option were added as well and more categories and a privacy security seal was implemented to gain trust from its users, still new to the web and afraid to share credit card details online. Then, on June 22, 2000, eBay's homepage looked bubblier as more design was integrated into the layout. The color scheme emphasized the different options available to users, providing them with a variety of tools such as themes or featured item to help facilitate their search. Furthermore, a focus on welcoming new users becomes more apparent as it is placed at the top of the page. The following year, on May 11, 2001, the company expanded to even more countries, adding three more to the list and opened a feedback forum, which allowed users to leave feedback about their experience with either buying or selling products on eBay. This would give eBay the advantage of listening to their customers and using what has been said to optimize usability. Furthermore, eBay's homepage has displayed an adaptation to festive seasons such as Christmas and Halloween as a way to attract users. For example, on October 22, 2002, the company had made its homepage Halloween friendly and offered its users Halloween themed products. In addition, a Buy It Now button appeared which helped transition the website's auction nature to a more e-commerce one, like that of Amazon.com. During this time, eBay had acquired PayPal, which provided a secure and easy way to pay and get paid, again optimizing user payment methods. However, as it expanded, new users began piling in, but not enough of them knew about how to use the website. As shown in a screenshot of December 3, 2003, eBay once again changed its graphical interface and has now designed it for the education of new users, offering them a three-step program about how eBay works because as their research showed, many were still unfamiliar with the company. In addition to this, to ensure trust in its users, the PayPal's buyer protection program was introduced. In that year, according to a graph showing the American Customer Satisfaction Index score of customer satisfaction with eBay.com, 2003 was the year with the highest score, 84 out of 100. On September 6, 2007, the graphical interface looked sleeker, with more images added to increase aesthetic appeal. New features are introduced to facilitate product search, such as Deal Finder and Express Wishlist. By 2008, eBay had already changed from being a bargain basement to a cleaner, safer online mall, thanks to the change of CEO from Meg Whitman to John Donahoe. As a result, on October 23, 2010, one can see two buyer protection program options on the page as well as a more animated and fluid look. By November 2, 2011, eBay's graphical interface changed again, with the display appearing more horizontal. 
A hover option was added as a way to save time finding specific categories. With the rise of the popularity of social media platforms at the time, eBay added its links to its own social media accounts, as well as began featuring the link to their mobile eBay app, indicating its adaptation to new media and appeal to a younger generation. With the introduction of a new logo in 2012, eBay continued to adapt as social media platforms began setting new norms. May 21, 2013 indicates once again how eBay changed its graphical interface to suit users. eBay introduced MyFeed, a customized feed for users based on what they've liked before, and with an infinite scroll feature which could allow users to endlessly search for what they like. This screenshot shows smooth features, lack of obvious boundary outlines, and as well as a tell me what you think button, all of which indicate a user-friendly appeal. The last modifications made to eBay's graphical interface from 2013 to 2015 gave users the option to follow sellers who create collections based on one theme, which again gives users the ability to browse the website with ease. eBay continues to grow even after separating from PayPal. This year, it purchased Zoom, a PayPal service for money transfer. But what will eBay do next for its users' comfort? That we will have to wait for.